Hi, I'm Reed Steamroller, Chief Creative Officer of Sandcastle Studios, William Reed Sealfoss in real life, and I'm going to show you how to export a mesh object from Autodesk Maya and into Second Life. This mesh chair started off as a polygon cube. I shaped it using the various polygon modeling tools available in Maya, and after it was modeled, I laid out the chair's UVs and gave it a basic wood texture. On top of that wood texture, I baked in a subtle shading effect called ambient occlusion. So basically, this is just the exporting process. I have four levels of detail. Here's level one, here's level two, here's level three, Here's the highest level of detail there. You can see the vertices and the faces that make up the object with the uh, wireframe mode on there. Finally, I have the physical mesh that's going to make up the bounding box of the object for Havoc once in Second Life. So exporting the object is really easy. Uh, we'll start with our highest level first. You just select the object and with the Open Collada plugin you'll need to install it and in the plugin manager make sure kaladamaya.mll is loaded select the object, go to file, export selection and in your project directory I, I put a I created a folder called SL just for Second Life uh, objects make sure uh, files of type openkaladaexporter.dae is the type of file selected and type in the file name. This will be chair LOD4 because it's the highest level of detail out of four. And just hit export and do the same for the other levels of detail. Chair LOD3 Chair LOD 2 Chair LOD 1 And then for the physical mesh you do the same thing Chair Fizz Okay, that's all you have to do in uh, Maya, and then you'll import the files into Second Life. Okay, so here I am in Second Life Mesh Beta. Uh, you can see my cool dude rigged mesh avatar, and I'm going to show you how to import the objects we've exported from Maya. So you do this just as you would any other uh, um, image file or sound file or anything like that. You just go to your inventory and go to the Upload tab, and you'll see the new option for Model. Click that, and you want to select the highest level of detail model out of all of them that you exported, and hit Open. You'll see the Import Model window open. And this gives you a preview of what you're uploading. You'll see a bunch of different options. Um, you can generate the other levels of detail, but we already made those, so we're going to plug them into the different slots that you see here. Uh, for medium LOD, choose file, we'll just choose the file that we exported. Same thing for low and lowest. And the physical shape is exactly the same as the rest. We just choose chair fizz. And it gives you a another uh, representation of what that looks like. And you just hit upload and it'll appear in your inventory. Uh, this isn't the folder you really want to pay attention to. You want to pay attention to the object that appears in your objects folder. It's called P cube shape 4 because that's what it was named in Maya. And you just can just drag it in Resident World. Now what you'll notice is that it is very, very, very small. That is because in Maya, my units of measurement was set to centimeters and and uh, Second Life works off meters. So there's a one-to-one -one, uh, scale ratio 
uh, when you're importing. That works the other way as well. So if you have an object that's you know 30 by 40 by 50 um, as far as scale goes, when you import it into Second Life, uh, it's going to come in at that scale uh, as long as it's set to meters, of course. So there's our object, and we want to texture it. And I already generated the image file for the surface texture. So you just upload that as an image file. And there's our chair surface. Upload. Drag it onto the object. And there's our surface texture. Now what? Now we've got this cool dude chair, cool dude mesh chair, and you'll notice that its cost is, uh, depending on size, is one prim. So we have a one prim chair that reacts physically correct and has all four correct levels of detail. Hooray! And we're done.